Uh, today we're going to take a look at how to create timelines using timetoast.com. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to timetoast.com and uh, open up this page. You're going to need to sign up, all right, which is fine. You click on the sign up. Please use the public free account, right? Don't worry about the basic or the pro. You can get enough done here with your public account. Choose that plan, all right? You're going to choose a username, whatever it might be, all right? Um, all right, for me, this is always tends to be my go-to. You're going to use your Triton students, your Triton school email. All right, your Triton students email. Create a password. Um, confirm that password. And then when it says security question, it's to make sure that you're a human being. All right, you click, I understand and agree to the terms and conditions, and you create your account. All right, for me, I already have an account. So I am just going to uh, pause here for a second. All right, I've logged myself back in here. Um, and you can see that I have a number of timelines down here. All right, along the way. Um, you can have as many public timelines as you'd like, but with that free plan, you only get one draft which is fine. At this point, you really only need the one draft. Okay, you're going to add a timeline. All right, in which you're going to give it a title. You're going to keep it in draft status. That's fine. Change to put the category in history. If you want to upload an image, that's fine. You can do that. And then you're going to create the timeline. For me, I named mine the Timeline of the Enlightenment Revolutions. All right, so we're going to work on editing that right now. One of the first things that you're going to do is you're going to add a time span, okay? And you're going to give that time span a title. Uh, it could be the Enlightenment Era, Enlightenment Thinkers, French Revolution, Haitian Revolution, whatever you like to do. A little bit of a description. And then the start date and end date of that timeline. All of those things, except for the description, right? The title for your time span, the start date and the end dates are on your uh, intro sheet uh, to this assignment. All right, when you're done, you create the time span. All right, you're gonna do that, as I say, for the Enlightenment thinkers, the French Revolution, Haitian Revolution, and the revolutions in Latin and South America. All right, once you've done that, you're gonna add an event. You're gonna give it a title, whatever it might be. This is where, this is the more important piece here now of the process to create a timeline, right? You're going to uh, enter a description here. You've got 500, 500 words that you can put in. Okay. So think about that as you're going. That's going to include the link that you need to put in. It's going to include the link that you need to put into somewhere else where the, the person looking at your timeline can go to find out more information about your topic. All right, so you're going to put that in there as well. You're going to give it a date, again, which is on the info sheet that I've shared with you. You are absolutely going to, to need to put in a picture. All right, now in order to do that, you're going to have to go to a site like creativecommons.org, download your image onto your computer, and then upload it from your computer. All right, so you've got to go somewhere else. This, this does not link to the web for you to add pictures. You've got to go somewhere else, download the image in, onto your computer. I would use creativecommons.org to make that happen. Then upload the image in, and then once you're done, you're going to create the event, all right? Once you've finished that, all right, your timeline is going to end up looking like this, right, where you've got the span of Enlightenment thinkers, French Revolution, Haitian Revolution, revolutions in Latin America, and your events are all going to populate in this timeline, and you're going to see them as you as you go through, right? You're going to see them pop up all over the place there, okay? Once you're done, you go to menu, 
okay, uh, and share. You're going to take the code here. You're not going to be able to embed with this account. That's fine. All right. You're going to get the share code, get the link, copy it, and then you're going to paste that link into your digital portfolio on a page for uh, the, revolution, the, the revolutions of the Enlightenment. Thank you very much for your time.